Hey everybody, it's Miss Amy at the Grass Valley Library. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Random Acts of Science. Today, we are going to explore an iced water balloon and we're gonna find out some cool properties about water while we're doing that. You're gonna need a couple of things from home. Um, you're gonna need a balloon, a large size one is probably the best, a pair of scissors, just some regular table salt, just a couple tablespoons, um, you're gonna need a spoon to get that salt on there. And then it's not required, but some food coloring is gonna be really helpful to help us see what's going on inside this frozen water balloon. So this uh, experiment has two parts to it. The first one you have to do in advance. You're gonna need to take your balloon, fill it with water, tie it off and put it in the freezer overnight. And when you take that out of the freezer, you're gonna have a great ball of frozen um, ice. So, and this is what we're gonna do the dissection on today. So part two is gonna be um, adding some salt and food coloring to this and finding out what's going on inside uh, this frozen ball of ice. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is use the scissors to help us peel the balloon off of the ball of ice. So you can score it <laughs> in any way you want and it'll probably just come right off. You might need an adult to help you with that part. And then once you get that off of there, you're gonna have this kind of crazy um, frozen ice ball that's full of cracks and fissures. So we're gonna take a closer look at this. When you get down in there and you look closely at what's going on in this ice, you can see that the frozen water has made a lot of different patterns. I can see cracks and some fissures. I can see some bubbles um, and it looks all pretty interesting. So we're gonna make it a little bit more visible by adding food coloring. All right, so before we add the food coloring, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. So what's happening with the salt is the salt helps lower the um, freezing temperature of water. So it's gonna make it melt quite a bit faster. And because it is hard to see that ice or the salt on top of the ice, we're gonna add some food coloring as well. I'm gonna add some blue. You can add a number of colors if you want, but I'm gonna start out with blue and we're gonna see what happens. Mine is looking a little bit like a brain right now, which is kind of gross, but also very cool. And I'm gonna switch to that shorter camera and we're gonna get a closer look at this. So here you can kind of see where the food coloring has um, penetrated, where there's openings in the ice. And those dark spots are where the salt is. It's really um, bonding with the salt a little bit. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit. And in a half an hour or so, we're gonna come back and check it again. Maybe add some more food coloring, add some more salt, and see what we can find out at that point. So um, you go ahead and do the same thing. I'll be right back. I'm gonna add some red food coloring this time and a little bit more salt. See if we can um, get speed up this reaction here. So here we go. All right, this thing is looking really ugly right now. It, look, it looks pretty cool. Um, I can see where the salt is starting to melt things and I can see where things are starting to seep inside. It's been about an hour. We're gonna see what happens one more time when we add some more um, food coloring and some more salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle this guy again. I'm gonna try some yellow food coloring, Let's see what happens. Look really interesting. You can kind of see deep inside what's going on and a lot of the formations on the top because of the salt. I hope you had as much fun as I did with that experiment and that your block of ice looked equally weird and mystical. Um, please join me next time for the next episode of Random Acts of Science. <laughs>